everybody and welcome back once again. Here we are with another edition of Inside the Headset and I've got with me the head coach of the Rockvale Rockets, head coach Rick Rice. How you doing, coach? Doing, doing good, Stor. Good to, good to see you. Yeah, it's been a while. It's been a while. Well, uh, talk to you before your first game and uh, let's start right there. Let's get caught up from there. You went down to Laverne. Yes, sir. And took on the Wolverines. And let's talk about the first game, taking the kids out and going through that and let's get a little caught up from there because and, and then it'll mean a little bit more when we get to just this past Friday night but take us a little bit through Laverne and catch us up with the Rockville Rockets. Okay well just uh, like I said last Friday went to went to Laverne and you know, of course it was a short trip and uh, but that's one thing I like about coaching and teaching here stories the trips are much <laughs> shorter than the ones I had to take in Wayne County oh man but anyway uh, started off with a bang almost returned the opening kickoff and uh, Jamari Golden, you know, I thought he was going to take it to the house. And, uh, you know, I think three plays later, we're in the end zone you know, with a touchdown pass to, you know, from Lamarius to his brother Lamarcus. And so, uh, um, uh, kick off, turn the ball over, we get it again. A couple plays later, we're in the end zone. I look up at the uh, up at the clock, uh, in the first quarter, about eight or nine minutes to go, and I'm going, man, alive, we're up 13 to nothing, you know. So, uh, so you didn't get the PAT. Didn't get the PAT, and uh, and then. The, I know this was real early, but this, to me, this is uh, how important special teams are to, to me and, and to our team. We, we're going to kick off to them. We're off sides, okay? All right, they, they five back chose, you up five. five. Backs us up five, and they choose for us to kick it again. Well, we kick it out of bounds. Well, that puts them on the 45. Yeah, well, 45 they, or 40. They, wanna, they want us to kick it again. And the reason why it's smart, it, I thought it was smart on Coach Stevens' part over there because they got some guys that could take it to the house. So well, they're backing you up. Yeah. They're getting yardage yeah. every, every penalty Brown, you make. I'd be John Brown if we didn't kick it to him. He takes it to the house, and it's 13-7. And that was huge. That was, that was huge, Stork, And because uh, uh, you never know. If we get a stop there, we get up 20 to nothing. Who knows, man? I mean, I mean, who knows? Well, and that's just and it. So, People uh, don't understand that when you get and, – and, and don't mean this in a, in a bad sense, but when you get a club on the on the ground, you start rolling sure, points on them. Sure. I mean, you can jerk the morale out of them really quick. Yeah, and, you know, we – you know, I know that it was um, – It'll the, determine the, the fight. It It'll really will. Yeah, It'll and the two the drives fight. we had on offense early to make it 13 and nothing were short drives, but I'm, I'm telling you, we, we come we, – our offensive line played really, really well, especially for about two and a half quarters. And we just kind of wore out the second half. We just, you know, just. And uh, inexperienced uh, a yeah. little bit. And, and not being able to play together and know each other and, and gain exactly. situation. Cognitive. Mm -hmm. I mean, these kids went through a lot of uh, just mental trying to get ready to go play. And, and, and we have, you know, since we started, you know, since we started, you know, June the 2nd, June 3rd or June 2nd. And, uh, uh, but, but they come back and. Um, they come back and go ahead. Well, they tie it thirteen to thirteen. I okay. Think. Or anyway, we get the ball. We get the ball back. We get the ball back. Stork, bang, 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 bang down the field, man. We get a fifteen play drive, and we go up twenty. Uh, go up twenty to thirteen. How much time did you chew off clock? Oh man, I I think uh, seven and a half to eight minutes. What we chewed off. So you get your defense off the field. Got them off the field. And your offense is, is running. Got a little bit mm -hmm. of happy. Got a little bit of step. And, you know, and then uh, they, they get the ball and score right there before half, make it 21 to 20. And then the second half, we just, I, I tell you, I, and I was afraid it would happen. And uh, there's four been, quarters. So, yeah, yeah, for four quarters, we just, you know, just kind of run out of gas. A couple of bad things happen, you know. Uh, snapped the ball in the punter's head. And, yeah, I did that and, and got, and we, we actually, um, uh, on the kickoff return, my middle guy got it. It was a short kick guy, and he fumbled, and they got it. So, you know, and you gave, of, a, you gave them a few, too. Yeah, we I mean, did. You, got, you were nice to them a little bit. Yeah, and, and we did, and, and and we didn't, they didn't earn it like I wanted them to. You mm -hmm. know what I mean? Yeah, so, yeah, uh, yeah. And so, but anyway, you know, we, you know, we get on the bus, come home. Yep. And, and, you know, yeah, get on the bus, come, get beat 42 to 20, get on the bus and come home, and, uh, you know, we're actually, what was the morale like? I oh, mean, it was good. Kids I mean, were, kids I got off the bus. Yeah, hey, man, yeah. we lost, but I mean, we know we yeah. know what we did wrong. Yeah, and, and, and was that kind of the feeling? It was, and the kids were excited. I guess they were excited to score 20 points, only be down, only be down by one point at halftime. And so, uh, you know, but we really struggled on defense against Laverne because they've got athletes. Oh yeah, so, speed, I mean, speed, and, and they do. So but anyway, we get back, we get come next week and. Have a wonderful week of practice. Get ready for Monday, uh, Tuesday. Leading into Labor Franklin Day. County. That's just uh -huh. past week. Franklin, getting getting ready for Franklin County, and uh, I'm telling you, man, we had a great week of practice, and uh, 
and uh, and I was hoping it would, would carry over to 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 Friday night against Franklin County, and it did from an offensive standpoint. The defensively, we just really really struggled with them, and, and they had a lot to do with Is that. Is it a quick fix, coach, or was you just? Uh out man well, or are you a little bit inexperienced do we need older guys on the field uh, I think it's a combination of everything from you know first of all we need to do better as a coaching staff on our defensive side we uh, I'll take responsibility for that and uh, gotta love a coach that uh, yeah I mean, hey, you start from the top yeah. it starts you know uh, you know a it's, lot of it starts with me yeah and so you know we got to start there but you know I think it's a combination you know of you know, of course, being young, which I hate using that excuse, but we are, uh, you know, just um, – We can't use it very long, Coach. No, no, and and uh, we get a few games under our belt. We're, not, we're you know – We're not going to use I, it. Yeah, I'm not. I'm, I'm, I'm going to quit using it. So, uh, but but anyway, I think it's just a combination of a lot of things. And, uh, you know, we're fixing to make some personal changes this week on defense. Okay, you know, that's fixing, all right. Yeah, and, that, and, yeah. and you know what? We're fixing to do that. Yeah. You know, you, <clears throat> I was telling this to my boss the other day. We, we you know – in business, you know, we work for an engineering company and we've got certain things we need to do. And sometimes you're running that play and we run it and we run it and we run it. And we know the results of that play. Well, let's go over here and let's, let's move them around a little bit and see what we yeah. get because we might get a different. And if not, we can move it back. Yeah. We can move it back real quick. Yeah. You know, we're going to, we got some kids there we want to look at. We think, um, you know, maybe because they've had some really good practices and I think they they deserve the playing time, you know. And, uh, so we're we're going to make some this week on the defensive side and uh, see what happens. So uh, and you know, you've we only just got, got so many Friday nights to find out. Sure. You know, uh, you know where you're going to be later in the season because uh, Ron Adelot always said, you know, hey, long about game five, you're going to find out about how good you are. Sure. And then from there, the last five, you really want to say, okay, this is basically who we are. Uh -huh. I, I'm going to run this. I'm going to run this eleven or or whatever in these last games. And, we're, and you know, it's like you said, that's a good point. We, we're still kind of trying to find our identity on defense, you know, and uh, we've we've just really struggled on that part from you know not get lined up right to. Uh, not being fit, that's the thing that's kind of bothered us more than anyway, Star. We're just not being very physical on defense and we're not and we're and we're not very good tacklers right now. So, you know, you get that combination, it's not a good thing. So but we're gonna work we're gonna come back Monday. It's Labor Day, it's a day to labor, and we're gonna we're gonna come back Monday. We're gonna work on tackling, we're gonna work on getting better. Talk about uh, coach, you know, uh, a, a lot of coaches talk about this, but talk about how important it is for a young man to think all the time that when you or you got to have your hands up when you're oh, playing yeah. the game of yeah. defense. Yes, you have or football in general, whether you're on offense or defense. When a man can unconsciously think to always have his hands up and have his hands in front of him, mm -hmm. you you do more damage, don't you, coach? Yeah, I mean that's that's so that's crazy that you said that because that's what Coach Barger and I have talked about from a standpoint of like defensive linemen. You know, when you come off the come off the ball, you want to you want your hands. You're, you want to shock, shock the offensive lineman what you want to do, and your hands are always moving. And when you form tackle, you're sitting there, your hands are ready, boom, to come up and make a tackle. And uh, it's crazy you said that because he and I, were, we were talking about that after the game. Well, it's, even, it's hard for people to understand. The center of gravity is yes, right it here is. at your belly button. You know, even in, in basketball, what do we watch? We yeah, watch your belly button because, sure. again, fake your be the belly button. You got to – I mean, everything comes back down here, and mm -hmm. if it's all here, you've got leverage. And, you know, we in, – in our defensive linemen are not coming off in what I, I like to use the word shock. You yes. know, coming off and shocking people, you know. And I'm talking about every play. And your hands are always, when you're on a guy, your hands are always moving, you know, to kind of, you know, get away from a guy or get down the line of scrimmage and make you get in position to make a tackle, you know. So, uh, and our linebackers, you know, they need to do a better job with their with their hands as well, you know. And our DBs need to do a better job of getting off blocks, you know. So, uh, yeah, man, the hand thing, people don't understand that. I'm just telling you. You know, and, and then plus kids, you know, being a little bit more aggressive, a little bit more. That's physical. hard to teach. You can't tell. Sometimes that's gotta it is. Come. It's, Sometimes it's it gotta is. Come. And, uh, it's gotta come. They have to learn that on their own, being yeah. aggressive. It was really frustrating the other night, and it was for Coach Barger because he's my DC and he's a wonderful coach, and uh, he does a great job. He really got frustrated the other night because he just he, <laughs> we threw the book at him what we did, and uh, and still, you know, if we got one more start, one more stop, Stork, one more. And uh, we got one. We got one there in the in the fourth quarter. If we could have gotten one, I told and told another guy. So if we could have gotten one, maybe in the second quarter, or got one maybe in the third quarter, I think I think we had a great great chance of getting a W.
How many times do we talk about it, you know, and, 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 and we're not even in playoffs, but what does the game come down to? One, two, oh, three yeah. plays. Yeah. Uh, you oh, yeah. go back, I, yes. if I'd have had that one, if we would have made the first down there, then we'd had a fresh set of four, mm -hmm. we could have done this, we could have done that so many times. Yeah. Uh, four, uh, let's, four, or five, four or five plays determines pretty much a ball game, what it does. You just don't know what four or five is going to be start. <laughs> Special teams-wise, uh, you, you, you missed that one down there. How did you – did you improve from Laverne yeah. to yeah, we Franklin? Did. We did, and I think that – I think um, uh, we didn't – I'll tell you what, we didn't do a very good job of blocking on one of our PATs, but I felt like, uh, you know, Nathan Watson's our kicker, and I felt like he got a little bit better. He's he's kind of struggled a little bit on on placing the ball where we want it placed on kickoff. Okay. So, um, but we just really did we did a lot of squib kicking the other night, and it really paid off for us because because the, the guys we was kicking to, they were, they was on about the 25 or 30, and they were just falling on it. So that was good, you know. So, uh, um, but yeah, I mean, he, he, that has got a little better, and I think Nalen needs to understand the importance of a ball placement on kickoffs. Okay. And, uh, yeah. Oh yeah. That's you know and. And we've harped on him enough about, you know, make sure you kick it to the right spot, you know. So, uh, but overall, special teams wise, feel like I got a little bit better. You know, we, you know, our punt team, Jason McCormick, punt at 155 yards. They fumble on about the five. We Beautiful. recover. Yeah, then we, we go in and score. And then Lamarcus Nelson takes it to the house. And uh, we had three really good kickoff returns the other night. You know, one we took to the house, the other we got around the 50 or 45 yard line. So, so we got improving. great field position. Yeah, proving yeah, and, and starting yeah, start to get that position. piece of the game. Yeah. Uh, logistically, penalties. How did we do on this? Oh, good. That's, you know, even against Laverne. Laverne hardly had any the other night. I think we had, golly, Stort, maybe two, two five yard penalties. Or well, we got a horse scholar. I forgot about that. We yeah, got that three penalties. Yeah, three penalties is on their sideline. So, yeah, I, I couldn't be more pleased, man. I hope, I hope, I would don't jinx us, you know, by us talking about it, you know. So, uh, but anyway, so but we've been really good in that department, and uh, and, and and you want to be. Yeah, let's uh, let's 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 break away from the Rockville Rockets. Uh, you kind of got you got a little personal deal for Thursday night. You got to scoot away and yeah. uh, and roll up the road and uh, yeah, and the boy, the, yeah, uh, yeah. I was well. You know, I'm a big EKU guy, so I was, yeah. and plus, I've got a daughter at Austin P. so I was trying to watch the Govs, and then I, I was watching more Colonels than anything, but I watched the whole first half of uh, my Colonels beating up on them Indiana boys, but uh, yeah. you, your son didn't do too bad the other he night. Didn't. I flipped it over, and he got, uh, by the time I flipped it over, he's in the end zone. Somehow yeah. or another, he was in the end zone. Talk a little yeah, bit about Yeah, he, uh, he played well. They played, Murray State played um, Played Pikeville University uh, up in Kentucky, NIA school. And, yeah, uh, I know Pikeville he, well. He got his first college start, and he's a redshirt sophomore. And um, he uh, he played. Uh, uh, he was very very efficient. He was 20 of 31 for 175 yards and two touchdowns. And he rushed, you know, 10 rushes for 50 yards. And so I was very, yeah, I was very proud of him. I was. And uh, but boy, I got a task this Friday. Story. I got to go down to Athens and play Georgia. Woo! Pick up a check. Yeah, yeah, they're going. You just want to come out alive. Yeah. So, <laughs> you, uh, you've got a couple of them headed your way, too. Yeah. you got a couple of Georges on the list, too. <laughs> but, any, but, anyway, <laughs> but anyway, it's going to be a great experience for him. He's looking so forward to going down well, there. Yeah. And I told him to make sure he got the – Make sure he spoke to Jake, you know, Jake Fromm. Get, you know, so. get, yeah, get, sure. get, get the coach's autograph. Yeah, yeah. You know, at least say hi to him. Say yeah. good luck tonight, so, coach. Uh, Do but something. Anyway, but I think it's kind of a neat thing being able Absolutely. to go down there and just something that he'll always remember the rest of his life. So, uh, but yeah, I'll be down there cheering him on in Athens, Athens, Georgia. I so think you'll leave here. Up. You'll leave here Saturday early, morning. Early about six thirty, yeah. Early six six thirty on Saturday morning, and we'll head down and uh, you know enjoy enjoy the game and the atmosphere and. Uh, uh, and just uh, it's so wonderful you get to well. do that, that that it is that that game in a UCLA game or something like that it, it's mm -hmm. nice that you're able to get in the car go down there and see him play in a big game like this and yeah. uh, my color guy Mike Eady as you know uh, he recalls uh, when they went to Neyland years ago uh -huh. and then you know he said man it was really rough when I wore that that Skyhawk jersey in there. I took a little little punishment, but I didn't yeah. care. I sat up in them stands, and any of them UT fans said anything, I turned around and let them know, hey, you're talking about my kid, so be cool what you say. My, son, my oldest son, my oldest son, Tyler, um, who played at UT Martin and played one year at Moorhead State, he's the wide receivers coach at UT Martin, and they go to Gainesville this Saturday. 
So I was talking to him yesterday, and he was actually little treats. Yeah, like breaking some film down on Florida, you know. So, uh, so it's kind of cool. Both of my kids, both of my kids are on the same day going to be competing against SEC teams. So that's kind of a neat thing. People don't know when you get that opportunity that you walk out into an SEC stadium and the stands are full, and, and you know uh, whether you're playing or I've, I've had the opportunity to work several college football games uh, with a camera and stuff. Boy, it is a totally totally different ball game down on the field and you think in the stands it's not moving quick you are moving really fast <laughs> because imagine. if to get into position you're trying to stay ahead of them uh, so that the, the ball's coming toward you yes. so after every play you're either jockeying around other people on the sideline trying yeah. to get a position get the sun behind your ear if it's an afternoon game all kinds of stuff but yeah. man there's nothing like doing college football it moves quick and yeah and i mean you can get you you can, you can get killed out there if you're not careful <laughs> i'm telling you I, I look for i look forward to going to athens and and gonna be thinking about tyler too going to gainesville you know so uh and uh so i saw georgia last night against Vanderbilt. no doubt <laughs> They got a chance to win a national championship, and I tell you what, Florida looked good against Miami, yep. you know, last week. So uh, it'll be a challenge, you know, no doubt. So let's talk Great about experience. Friday night. You've got one Friday night. Yeah, uh, got, got uh, Warren County. Yep, we yep. do, and uh, got to go on the road. And uh, there beautiful are, place to go down and play. Coach, have you played down there? Have you coached? No, the sir. We went year? actually went to a J, uh, had a JV game. Or I'm sorry, a freshman game there last Monday, and uh, and we went down and, and and played them, and they beat us 20 to 12 in a freshman game. And uh, yeah, very pretty. Pretty area. I love their stadium. I mean, yeah, it's you're kind of old, you yeah. know. But I said, man, this is a neat little stadium. Yeah, you know? it is. So I, I, it's I, one. Of, it is. It's probably the. Uh, you know, uh, it is probably the one that's got the. Uh, it's got character. Yeah. Definitely yeah. has yeah, character. Yeah, that's, that's a great. That's a great term for it. And uh, but Coach Turner, Matt Turner, new coach, uh, got a got a you know a bunch of kids out. You know, I think last year, I think man, that was around around twenty some kids. Ooh. You know. And uh, they won their first game against the Cav County. Got beat them against against Cannon County. But I'm tell you what story. They've got some athletes. They got they got some kids, a little like basketball kids to me. You know that that they've got, and they're they're very very impressive on offense. I'm just telling you. And, and some of the stuff that they do gives us fits on defense, like it has the first two games. So uh, it's going to be a challenge. It's and they want to uh, not to be mean to them, but they want to push your face in the sure. mud. Oh, I yeah. mean, sure. I'm not, I, sure. let's, I let's, let's make no bones about it. Yeah. I mean, Rockets coming down here, they they played two really good games. We don't want to let them slip on yeah. us. They're going to try to they're going to try to bust you in the mouth, Coach. The minute you get off the bus, yeah. And well, they, that. one thing they've got, we don't got story. They got to win, you know. And uh, uh, you know, we'd like to go down there and really really play well and try to get us a W. And uh, um, have a good week of practice. I, you know, I like our chances, but I'm going to tell you what, they're you know, I, I know, you know, Warren County had been a lot really successful in the past, but I'm, I'm telling you, they're a really good football team. They're a good football team, and uh, Coach Turner's doing a great job there. And uh, it may take him a year or two, but yeah. uh, but he wants it. But it I'll, sounds I'll, me like yeah. he wants to compete yeah. in this league and, yeah. and go at it. And yeah, he does. And uh, I, I actually, I, I actually didn't get to talk to him during the, the, the freshman game. He was up in up in the press box, and uh, but his coaching staff were very, very kind and, and really nice after the game. And uh, uh, they was coaching our kids up. So he's got some things going over there. Just very impressed with them. Coach, as we wrap up, let, let's touch one thing. You know, there's a lot of things that go on here that a lot of people don't see that you get a little bit of a smile in the back of your mind or something or certain things happen in the game with a kid or or it's just it's just a part of saying, hey, that – He's getting something out of this. He's growing up. He's learning what football's all about. You know, it, it, it's not about that. He's he's figuring it out. Please share with us uh, just one of those moments. You don't have to name any of the kids or anything, but some of the things that you just know. That, hey, man, this is this is this is all right. You, you know, we haven't won. We haven't won one, but there's things that a lot of people don't know that's going on right here. And I'm I'm I, I witnessed it. I experienced it, and it's not something you can buy. Yeah, I think I think the other night. Start just uh, from, um, you know, from everything being a first, you know, uh, the first high school football game at Rockville High School ever. Um, Your superintendent came out. You know, uh, Coach Sparlock. Yep. Coach Sparlock came out and had a couple of veterans that were recognized. You know, and just and that was just so neat. And and you know, we got a kind of a long walk from you know from our from a dress room to the field. Today. And uh, yeah, and uh, and you know, coming through the parking lot, we had tailgaters everywhere. 
and that was so, such a cool thing, you know, for high school football. And you can't, you can't, you, you can't, but you can't get them out there no, on Tuesday afternoon. And let them experience that. That's no. exactly what I was looking for. And so, and, and the thing about it, and I told someone this, you know, I'm 56 years old, and there's a lot of things, you know, when you coach, you don't get to enjoy a whole lot. But the other night, I kind of took it in. Yeah. And uh, I told you, we had a timeout like in the first quarter, and I just kind of turned around, and looked at the, looked into the crowd. It was packed. I mean, there was not a seat in, in the house that you, you know, every seat was. And you're in Rutherford County. Yeah, and so every seat was taken, and uh, the band was loud. Our student section was wonderful, and, you know, it was just, uh, you know, I know we had a game, but I, I told myself before the game, I said, I'm going to enjoy a little bit of this. You know, this is my 34th year, and uh, and and I want to experience, you know, the, you know, all, it, all it's been been brought up to because we've we've started everything story like like you do anything you know from branding but man we we started everything from scratch uh, you and, we, and we've gotten everything you know we was up to the last minute getting things you know things fixed and get things done you know get get but ready the show's got to go on yeah it does regardless so uh but i i guess i guess that's a thing that um that i'm most proud of that you know everything's come together and coach lucas is so so wonderful to work with and in our administration, He's in. our vice principals, the council—I mean, yeah, they're—they're they're just wonderful. They've been so—they've been so good to me, and uh, since I've been here, and, and and they've been so supportive, and I appreciate that. So, uh, um, but you know, and our kids, our kids were kind of awestruck a little bit, but it was—it was in a good way, you know. Not like they had the big deer and they had light lug. They were just really proud to see the support. They'll be glad to get back after Warren County. Oh yeah, they will. They will. All right, Friday night, join up and. Follow Coach Rick Rice and the Rockville Rockets down to uh, Warren County is McMinnville. McMinnville. Yes. Almost didn't get it out. Down to McMinnville and watch them play. Kickoffs at 7 o'clock. Y'all be there. <laughs>